What's going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We got hit up a lot on social media about the Flash Big Game Spot. I thought it would just be a shorter version of the official trailer, but apparently there's some new footage in here. Yeah, we're gonna have to check this out, go a little bit frame by frame. Maybe check out our reaction to the official trailer that's up here on the channel. Hi, Koi. Hi, I'm excited. Hi, John. Hi, I'm excited. Ladies and gentlemen, leave a like. Let's see what's going on. Cool. <laughs> What's happening? Whoa, shit. Dang. You changed the future. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. So much better. I'll get this one. Whoa. Whoa. So many suits. <laughs> Want some help? You're, you are, you're. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Batman. Goddamn <laughs> rich. Beyond. <laughs> The <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> The flash ring! Yeah. <laughs> the flash ring! <laughs> Dude, that trailer. What did they just do to us? Oh, <laughs> he's going to get the flash ring. Oh, man. Yeah. That was so cool. Wasn't that in the big trailer? Yeah, that was in the big trailer. Oh, okay. I totally missed it. Oh, yeah. That's why yeah, we're yeah, framed yeah. by framing. There you go. And a lot happened in that That's trailer. That's a lot, a lot did happen in that trailer. Seconds. Holy crap. Go a little bit frame by frame. You guys tell me if you want me to, to stop at anything right here. I mean, the suit up's great. Okay, so some people were saying immediately that this was uh, Christian Bale's bat bike. Uh, the bat bike in that movie doesn't have the, the two front no. wheels like this. That is no. definitely Batfleck. That's 100% yeah. Batfleck. Confirmed were, Batfleck. Look were, at the ears. There were set photos, too, that showed that Batfleck was on a, a, a bike. I think people just want the Bale. So is this... I can't tell if this is a splice of, yeah, like, the early in the older. movie. Or something. Okay. Like, this is World Engine from Man of Steel moment. Yeah, yeah. And then this, I feel like, is the beginning of the movie, where the whatever that big action scene is that I imagine the film's gonna start off mm -hmm. with, where you see that Barry Allen is working with Batfleck. I don't, I don't feel like this. Yeah, is I don't the, think that's related. I agree with you. Yeah, I think this is just some clever it's splicing. Just a match, yeah. And this must be like, I don't know when this is towards the end of the movie or something like that. <laughs> this shot, though. Yeah. I mean, the Zod Supergirl shot is so cool. That is epic. Where is this? It looks like they're in the middle of the desert this time. It's yeah. Versus the city. Some place uh, abandoned where they don't hey, have look, to worry about casualties. Hey, look, we don't have casualties. casualties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't have it's to almost worry. like 15 years of notes. <laughs> <laughs> they decided just to do Yeah, because this whole thing with the armies, it looks like it's all taking place in like a desert yeah. versus in the middle of Metropolis. I mean, it, it's like if you have a villain that's wreaking havoc, if you take them out of the city, it might be a better way to be a hero. True. So True some that. might do that. Like what, are you, what are you talking about? I don't know. It's an idea. Time. And actually slowing this down really does look like, I don't know if this is, they're both getting powers here yeah. or he's trying to get powers. That's so intense. That's like, that's so metal. I love like this shot of him, coming. him jumping out of the, it's very Iron Man like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Captain America Winter Soldier, where you like. Exactly. Oh, that's so cool. That's a great shot. We got hey, this. Just look at these like, yeah, visuals. They're just wheels, insane. Man. I know this is in the original trailer, but still. Also, well, this... you can see the reverse here where that there isn't the world breaker thing. And also, yeah, there's also two wheels here versus with. Um, versus the, the one. The big tumbler. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, that's not. But well, I was just saying for your theory of this isn't that scene for sure because it'd be in that shot. Yeah. Well, yeah. And and, uh, and I thought of back to what you said during the original trailer reaction where like, yeah, it's like the multiverse of directors because I think people could get confused because these bat flex sequences on the bike do look like they are inspired by the visual language uh, of the Dark Knight, you true. know, and that's, you know, the biggest touchstone on screen for that vehicle. I love this speed force moment. Is that a film reel? Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the lost uh, Snyder cut. <laughs> Okay, who who's this? this? I have no idea who this is. Gray hair, long. It's Barry in the future. It's Lex Luthor. Goes it's to Jesse the Eisenberg. end of his time. It's oh, Alfred. <laughs> He's let himself go. I mean, this looks like it's part of Wayne Manor. Could be. Could be. But who has lo who has gray hair and long gray? I mean, maybe we meet a different Bruce because we're we're about to see a lot of Bruces. Michael maybe. Keaton cuts his hair first. Yeah, he's first, grown it first out. First, he has long hair, and then he cuts it. Yeah, yeah, he's talking to this kid Terry on the phone. Sequence. Yeah, <laughs> I love this, this shot oh, of the multiple okay. bat suits. Yeah. Look at this like armor up on, on the right. One. Yeah, and we got a bit of a bat armor on the on the second from the right. Yeah, yeah. I like the different cowl attachments, and they all look in a different degree of like wornness. Like that one in the back looks especially dirty over his screen left shoulder. Like oh yeah. Eyes. Oh yeah. yeah, I love the goggle, the, the variations of the visors, the different and stuff. goggles and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and the different like ways they for uh, the like eyebrows, the brow of the cow look. Yeah, this film looks beautiful. I am though. so a lot, excited. A lot of these movie. shots look very IMAX heavy. Yeah, 
It gets me stunning. excited for uh, for Andy Muschietti too because he's a director. Of, he's helmed a lot of big stuff, but I'm still waiting for like what is his stamp of you know yeah. Of yeah. tone and visual. You know, we didn't go frame by frame with the full trailer, but they expanded on this from the original teaser trailer, yep. yeah. showing that it is the Batmobile. Him uh, freaking out so over cool. it. The bullets to the syncopation of the music was so dope. Like that was clever. Okay, so there's your ring. That's cool. What is the ring? Like, how did he make the ring? Because there's a tad bit of yellow here. Yeah. So it makes me think it's a 2013 berry. Oh, interesting. I mean, and is the villain just going to be yellow? Wait, 2012? When was Man of Steel? 2012 or 2013? 2012? (laughs) Yeah. But also, are we getting, uh, you know, yellow flash? I don't think that's this shot, but, like, is the evil flash going to be a part of this? Or is it going to be, like, yeah, in the universe where he still has his mom, he doesn't have powers, then flash gives him his powers, but then that causes him to turn into yellow flash. That's a good point, too. Can we we acknowledge that he kind of has a blue cape here with gray? Yes. This is a bit Neil Adams-y, and that is my jam. I love me a blue suit. So this is definitely the continuation of him coming out of the plane. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Cool. That's gonna be a great Dude, sequence. It's gonna be so giving cool. him like a good final sequence. Yeah, so I don't know what he's freaking out over here. He's just uh, he's he's responding to the charges. It might be when his mom is getting murdered. Trying could to stop be watching him. the the old murder. Yeah. Uh, okay. There's a lot of dude. Like this is all army with these these lightning bolts, which is interesting. Well, mm-hmm. and this looks like it's the two flashes. Yeah. No, no. I was just looking at what they're attacking. Like I'm wondering if this is like they're losing the fight and everything comes down to them kind of thing. I, uh, well, that's the two of them in the middle, and then they're each gonna like shoot off to one side. I think either trying to save the people. Oh, they're trying to save the soldiers. I, I think these are Chris, these are yeah. Like are these Kryptonians the, or these ours? I yeah. thought I thought Zod only showed up with a small handful of people, but he's got like ships and yeah. These stuff. are these look alien. These ships. Yeah, the ships. I'm saying they're fighting with them. Yeah, but these look like they're regular soldiers, oh, you think these right? Are just the... I can't see. That's what I can't tell. I yeah, can't I thought tell they if were those are invading. our troops or if those are Zod troops. Or it uh. could be them fighting. Yeah. yeah. Either way, it's interesting. I like the Starship Trooper vibe. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it is a very Starship <laughs> yeah. Trooper vibe. Yeah. Good call. That's a good call. <laughs> Paul Verhoeven's The Flash. Yeah. All right, Dude, yeah. I, my favorite shot is now this blue and gray suit. Like I'm just overwhelmed by Ben Affleck in blue and gray. That's I so mean, exciting. That's a cool TV spot. I'm excited yeah. for this movie, man. I think it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be rad. It's James Gunn's favorite movie. All right, guys. Well, are you excited for the flash? Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to subscribe. Totally missed the ring in the last trailer. I just am so impressed that it looks <laughs> as good as we've heard. Because we heard the sky was going to part. And yeah. it's still in there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, guys. So leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to subscribe. Follow Koi on the socials. Last but not least, since with a... Aaron Myers. Buddy. Aaron, my dude, we have a bunch of shout-out ideas for you. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to start with the traditional one. We looked up the new meaning of your name. It means exalted or strong. It's been interpreted to mean teacher or mountain of strength. That is so cool. I like to imagine that you are a skinny, scrawny little guy with like four different sets of glasses and you're constantly <laughs> having your head down yeah, and you have you a hoodie like on gear, and shaggy hair. A bunch of inhalers and you're always the using. The last thing you want is and any sort brace, of conflict and someone shoves like you braces, into the locker room and, and you're, you're always like covered in a body cast. My like name's Aaron. I cast. am a mountain of I am strength. fragile. Do not break <laughs> me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. You, you, was, you did a completely opposite thing of what, what I said there. But we were on the same page for so long, you know. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm sorry, oh, Aaron. On. I was just intimidated by your strength you as the mountain of strength that you I'm are. I'm just kidding. We know that you're probably a very, very handsome individual. with, um, And you, I'm sure you put on this display here. Every Aaron I've ever gotten to know is a great guy. Mm-hmm. and Exclusively. I think they are an exalted individual. That's what I always say. It's, it's a common compliment that I give around town. <laughs> you are exalted, <laughs> sir. You, you are an exalted Madden person. <laughs> you are exalted this eve. So, And you are especially exalted. Thank you, Aaron, for being here, for being part of our Patreon page, for bumping up here. Obviously, we don't know, really know what you look like. So uh, please don't take any personal <laughs> <way for> people, <laughs> too, because we're just making a joke. But uh, thank, you for, thank you for showing your support, man. It means a lot to have you as a super sexy reject here at the Reject Nation. 